All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We're still on this desert-ass world, and I, I want to uh, do some side missions for the people before I actually leave the planet. Or at least talk to a few of them. Hi guys. What's this? All right, request. All right, speak to Addison on the Nexus. Okay, so that's something we can take care of in a bit. There was another. Yep, right across the little pond. Or is that big enough for us to call a lake or a pond? I don't really know how these classifications work. Oh shit. Don't want to fall in that. Can't swim. But I thought there was a... Uh... Oh yeah, it's just not showing up on the compass. Hello, hello. Knock, knock. It's Pathfinder o'clock. Someone left a warning. Looks like a work crew thinks they can take control of the remnant. Oh. That's an incredibly bad idea. Work crew rosters are posted publicly. The data pad mentioned Med Bay. A little work, we could find where to catch up with them. All right. All right, so it's up there, so take the stairs. Or like any reasonable human being, fly. This definitely treated wounds caused by a remnant. That data pad said the work crew tried to control them. Sand particles were removed from the wound. Analyzing. The sand may be from several locations. I mean, the sand, there's sand all over the place. I don't really know how you can tell that. Which is why we have this separate work roster thing. Did, did that not work? Oh, it's a data pad. Work rosters. That data pad mentioned the name Jennings. Here, Axel Jennings, assigned to set up weather monitoring devices all over the desert. All right, where are we going? Over here? Close to a fast travel point, maybe? Is it? Yeah, oh no, it's not. It's close enough to this one, though. Oh god, how's everybody doing? I hope you all st surviving and striving out here in COVID times. All right, let's get after these fools. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Are they here? Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. Thank you can you. extract minerals via your mining interface. Thank you, Sam, but it told me that already when it flashed. Radiation levels. No sign of that work crew, but someone left their gear behind. There we go. Wait, I've got an open comm channel. Easy money. Once the electrical charge builds up, we'll have ourselves some nice obedient remnant. You better be sure this time, Jennings. Oh god, where are they going? Where are they at? Somewhere out there. I'm sure fast traveling won't <laughs> won't uh destroy the timer. It must mean something to you. Hopefully Padromo sets a high bar. I hear resource shipments are up. A good sign for people trying to live here. 
Earth had formations like this. Made a lot that? of kids think of alien worlds. Water and weather. Nothing tougher in the long run. Alright, this must be it. Come on, speed up! Oh god. Help us! Please! Yeah, this is why you don't do this, you idiot! Clever hiding spot. No, we are not. Actually, I forgot how to switch weapons. Oh. We're all clear. Great timing. Thanks for the assist. Your experiment with the remnant didn't work out? Huh. Okay, who squealed? Gasperick? Yeah, I bet. These remnant could plow our fields, protect us from the cat. You control them, why shouldn't we? I know what I'm doing, you're risking lies. I, well, I don't actually entirely know what I'm doing, but... I have a super intelligent AI, and enough experience with the remnant to be careful. Jennings, this isn't working. We tried. <sighs> Fine. But you can't protect us all the time, Pathfinder. Out here, we need every edge we can get. Th that's fair, but figure out what you're doing instead of putting yourself at risk. All right. Is that all the side missions down here on EOS? Yes, I, I think it is. Or what's? Oh, member trigger. Let's go back to the Tempest. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? Work it out. You're professionals. I'm not going to babysit bunk assignments. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. <laughs> Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Uh, just get along and don't destroy the ship, please. Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. 
Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility <laughs> or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. I mean, head KB, buddy. Drac, see Lexi for a physical? Good meeting, everyone. Headbutting shit usually works for Krogans. It works for Shepard. It can work for everybody else. Ryder, when you've got a minute, stop by the med bay. Okay. Now let's take the long way. Or maybe not. Oh. I'm in the armory. Okay, everybody wants to talk, so we'll just start here. Pathfinder making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the riffraff are making out? Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the riffraff spokesman? King, actually. You might want to bow. Otherwise, no telling what might fall off the nomad when you're out there. I'll take my chances. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. Yeah, you and plenty of other people. I doubt you were the only one. Yes, but it's a new thing for me, regret. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties, no real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. I'll help you find purpose. Uh, well, not me specifically. No, I get, I get it, for real. We're exploring this cluster. Eventually, the galaxy. If your purpose is here, we'll find it. Then the question will be, what will I do with it? <laughs> In the meantime, you just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. Sweet. Hello, Drive Gore. Ithaca Drive Variation. That's a big bitch. Although I think the SV2 was larger. Was the SV2 larger with the Drive Core? I think so. Because this is just a damn scout ship. Knock, knock. Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omniblade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? How do you even get that on the ship? Where'd you find it? Someone brought this to Andromeda? It was new when we left. It's been a hard year. So, finally time for that beer? That couch is 600 and years old. after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. The crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Explain what Hustle is? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. H-U-S-T-1, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I wanted exploration, to chase the cutting edge of Prothean research. I thought I'd found my calling. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. Like the couch. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. I started in the Alliance, but it was the science that kept me going. 
When that ended, well, if I wanted to be a part of the next big discovery, it had to be here. Oh, I don't hear idealists a lot. Everyone's cynical. Back at you, Costa. Why do you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job, nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and... I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. We could change the direct- Yeah, make a pretty good pirate ship. We can't go back, but we're not trapped by decisions a galaxy behind us. I don't feel trapped. We came from a good place for good reasons. But keep that in mind, or steer us right, just like back in Crisis Response. Remember the essentials. A new start, guided by the Pathfinder. And team. I'll bust my tail to make that a good story. Alright, and you... Shittily propped up a TV on a couple of crates? Okay. Combined with a 600-year-old couch? I'll talk to someone. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Yeah. Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... That was rude. So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. Now's as good a time as any. I think... No. I know that I can be of use here. I know everyone on the crew. Even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Ability to haggle with the locals? Great. But please tell me you're also good in a fight. Like I said before, Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. I do what I have to. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later? Yep. Alright, so now, downstairs. Lexi wanted to talk. I don't think there's anybody in here. Most of not. the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. Dinner tonight. Okay, so just like a, a message board. Alright, Lexi, what's up? You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years in the Hyperion looking after your brother. Happy to have you, Dr. DePero. I'll do my best. Now, hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. I always yeah. hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, a, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. Okay. Interesting thesis. You have a lot of hands-on research for that? That's a very... specific topic. I grew up on Omega. Lots of Krogan mercenaries. The best habitat outside Tuchanka. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan... Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats her vegetables. 
Yeah, I don't think he can control that. Data pad, data pad. What the hell am I stuck on? All right, up the ladder. Oh wait, Drax said he's down here. Don't give the Pathfinder too. Uh, don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Roshan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Ah, I like the way you think, kid. Ugh, someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Yeah. Probably Tan, damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Oh, I fully understand. It's always good to have a Krogan on board. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. All right, now up the ladder. Oh wait, no, I wanted to see something with my, uh, with my wardrobe. Customize colors. Which one is this? That, that is not pattern selection. That's what I wanted. Pattern color. Yeah, that's good enough. Special delivery cash. Okay, got a bunch of stuff. Dr. Radana. And an interview, okay. Now up we go. There was a couple of doors up here that were locked, or one door. This got to be where Cora is. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> maybe. Your biotics always do that when you're maybe stressed? I got it. I'm good. I don't normally lose it like that. A Huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one, before the initiative. Some things stick, though. Like losing the old man. How'd you get to that level? How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry sent me to Thessia to serve with the Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. You were his second in command. Were you friends too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Prickly old bastard. But I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. I know it's not the same, but I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way, and I meant it. But I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you, an untrained Pathfinder, and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival, just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. 
What'd you come out here for? So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. I assume you've never met a human woman named Jack. <laughs> What the hell is that? Oh, that's the Nexus. That's a hologram of the Nexus. All right. Let's go talk to Kalo and Suvi. And what are they? That Yes, they are. Sin. We haven't really spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean... a god? Yes. I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's nothing about the universe that suggests a divine intelligence. And most of what we've seen in Helios is artificial, as you said yourself. Yes, but we're creative beings. Whoever made the remnant was too. Why should that be proof against a god? Wouldn't a true creator want to pass on the drive to invent? If everything was set in place by some mysterious creator, why even be a scientist? If I have reverence for a creator, how could I not want to study their creation? My faith does not hinder my work as a scientist. It encourages it. My senses tell me what the world is. Science shows me how it came to be. And religion tells me why. I apologize if I offended you. I can be insensitive. You're fine. Being challenged forces me to dig deep in my beliefs. It's healthy. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. Yes, we will. I'm gonna go talk to uh, Calo and oh, I entirely forgot about uh, PB, but let's talk to Calo first. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector. Go ahead. That's probably smart. Ah, yeah. uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? I could stand here and drink in that view all day. When I was test piloting the ship back home, I often did. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. That's a really big step for only a ship. I like the Tempest, but I'm not sure I'd travel between galaxies for her. The Unknown Frontier had its charms, too. It's just strange not having the rest of the design team. I remember Serena debugging Line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Speaking of which, is there any word on that? Did you hear anything about the arc back on the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. Cheer up, Callow. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? Yeah. All the more reason to find the others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. No, I'm sure they would have used the, uh... They would have used the ship for something, even if Ryder didn't become Pathfinder. 
You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Should I consider you a temporary addition? Everything's temporary, Ryder. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... <laughs> I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Boredom drove you here? You left everything and everyone you knew because you were bored? No. I came with someone I knew. Then she got bored with me. <laughs> Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. But there's like... A few million people who traveled to Andromeda to do the exact same thing you are. That's just the one thing you want me to know about you. Let's start with that, then. Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. <sighs> Tell you what. I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. Sounds good. Back to the Nexus we go. Okay. territory and back we are because we the got has been here for months still not enough time to survey it all oh wait a minute there was something out here that uh i needed to scan for Oh, element zero. Sweet. Only ten, really? Okay. Anything else? Nope. Back to the Nexus. Okay, we got a few things to saddle up here. Yes, Doc. Damn, for under construction, the Nexus really looks good. Is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Just doing my job. Good day to party. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne. Certainly. The initiative's finally back on track. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. 
But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. Of course. What you doing, Vetra? Don't. Don't shove the crate off the... You shove the crate off the ramp. Where do they find these people? You, you just people watching? Keeping tabs on things back here? Yeah, I try to watch what's going on while we're away, but it's nice to check in person. Shore leave is for relaxation. Take some time off. Get a massage. Can Tyrians even get massages? <laughs> sort of. We get vibrations through the carapace with a hammer. Uh, not for me. I'm fine, just people watching. Yeah, I wouldn't think somebody bashing on your back with a hammer would feel good. Alright, we'll check out these stories and stuff later. Let's just go in and take care of the shit in operations. A worker was lost to space during repairs on the Nexus Hall. Jesus Christ. The name has been withheld until next of kin in the Milky Way is notified. How the hell do you this get somebody hit. sucked out of space while making repairs? My God. Okay. Our first outpost for drones. Hey, there's a puke on the floor. I hear you went down to Eos. Did you find anything to help my case? Yes and no. An enemy blast to the back killed the chief. Your shot missed. What? You, you're kidding me. Thank the spirits. This is great. Hold on there. The chief's omni tool recorded you over the body. Sam, play back. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Shit. Not only did you think you killed him, you meant to. But you just said I didn't, so it doesn't matter, right? The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. Director Tan will determine what's to be done. You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent. Plain and simple. We'll see about that. I mean, well, the real thing is there's there's this little this little crime called attempt at murder, but I have the feeling that that's not going to be taken into account right now. <laughs> oh, I do have to talk to Addison. It isn't what we wanted, but what choice? You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. I'll do the exploring. Don't you have someone else to track the numbers? Get off your perch. This is where numbers become lives. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Sounds good. Brecker? Hello, Pathfinder. I am cryo deployment administrator Vladimir Brecker, C63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. <laughs> You're kidding? <laughs> yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. Alright, um, waking people. So I decide what groups to wake up. 
Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things. A lines of support. You can't deploy an omelette without first deploying eggs. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people, and how all our lives begin. Makes sense. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and the general stability. A metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. Makes sense. All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. Sweet. Mining operations and research points at regular intervals. Yeah, let's do that. Talk to Tan. Got a couple other things that are in the same direction. Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tvesa, freelance fit maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tan's asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation paint rainbows over our problems. Right. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Nice to see someone so devoted to her work. That's kind. Sometimes the camera makes people shy away from me. That's a shame. <laughs> so that's what I need. The truth, I mean. Someone needs to record the history we're making. Wait, is the, is the camera on her chest? It takes integrity to record the truth and nothing but. Well, I it is. do my best. And you could help me out. The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? He don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes? What would he do? Pull funding we don't have? <laughs> I'm game if you are. Let's fucking do it. Okay. Interview away. Let's start at home. Fourteen months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? No. <laughs> like, like maybe the maybe the rebellion, sure, an anticipated issue, but like a complete and utter failure. Fuck no. We still have to fix them. Everyone, leaders included, needs to pitch in. Let's be honest about these challenges and how we're going to face them. Nice. Won't make you popular with the leaders, but it's good to hear. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. This was more fun than I expected. Right, You're great. Good. I'll get to work editing. Hello, Pathfinder. Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. I guess this is one bet that paid off. Point taken. Always revel in your victories. That's why I'm standing here. Oh, I never doubted you. It was the others. They don't share our vision, Ryder. Of a prosperous future in Andromeda. Yeah, sure. Liar. Um... <laughs> Due respect, Director Tan. But you don't know me. Oh, I think I do. Your ingenuity speaks for itself, Ryder. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming... It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. 
You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. Sounds good. I plan on doing a lot more than that. That's the confidence we need. Take charge and ignore your critics. Including Careful. you. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. Yeah, I don't need your permission. I planned on doing both. I wasn't really asking for it. Of course. I support that kind of enthusiasm. Right. Oh, hey, Tan. Um, about the murder? About Ryder. the murder? Ryder. You're off to a promising oh, start. You have I meant what I said. You are a symbol now of hope that things will get better. Though I worry about this terraforming network. What do we really know about it? It's like nothing we've ever seen. It's clear somebody had big plans for this cluster. But who? Not sure yet, but at least we're on the trail. Did you have some other business? Yeah, the murder charge. Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. These things are almost never black and white. I know. If we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? Is there a... I, I don't want to exile him, because that's... almost a death sentence, and I don't, and I don't believe in the death penalty all like that. Um, and there's no attempted murder charge, so... It was crazy down there. Life and death. But his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom line type of person. I hope we don't regret it. Alright, so be it. He will do community service for his role in the chaos. But he's a free man. Well, at least we'll have this sordid business behind us. Okay. Well, that was close enough. I guess. Not entirely satisfactory, but we'll just... We'll see. Um... Now, what other things do we have to do? First strike, speak... Oh, that's right. This... Something personal. Talk to Addison. Oh. I gotta do that. I forgot I needed to talk to her again. Do I talk to Addison or him? Yes, Pathfinder? I have info on a specific sleeper I'd like brought out of cryo. I want to avoid that entirely. For reasons. Reasons? That's it? Look, you're the Pathfinder. If you've a request for your extended team, that's a request you can make. Access the sleeper records through Brecker's console. It's none of my business. Until you make it a problem for me. 
Understood? Okay. Pathfinder, AVP leveling continues as per your directions. And of course, the interface remains accessible for any future adjustments. Sweet protocol and the process. Now we are living. All right, can you get, uh, what was it, Letty out of cryo? I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. That's it? You'll just do it? Nowhere in my job description does it say, argue with the Pathfinder. <laughs> that said, I record all interactions. If something you ask for causes trouble, there'll be no doubt that you're responsible. Uh, well, in other words, his, um, his job description is, I just do what you tell me and I don't give a shit if it causes problems. I heard that the chief engineer on EOS went back into cryo. There have been a few such requests. The first few months in Helios were disheartening. Now that Prodromos is on track, I want her redeployed. Chief Engineer Grace Lito, designation E-97 Durango. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Yeah, there's, uh, somebody else? I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. Let's keep this between us. Here's the info. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Nope, not at the moment. Another time. Pathfinder. Alright, well, okay. That was easy as pie. So, okay, we got a uh, return to Padromos. And we can return to Padromos, but we'll do that uh, next time. So I think so. So, so very much, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. And when we return, we're going to finish that up on Padromos and see, um, see what else we can get into that causes any sort of trouble for anybody so i thank you so much if you're on youtube like As comment subscribe stasis, on twitch drop me a follow and i will be back in a moment donation.